Hi, hi. Hi, good evening. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, everybody. How are you today? Hi. Anybody there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine. Great to see you. Okay, well, let's start. Checking attendance, see if anybody is here. I'm sorry, how many are ready to start today? Did you have a nice day? What about the weather today? Where you work or where you live? Hmm? Did you have a nice weather? Yes, no. No? No? Well, I'm going to call you. Let's see how many of you are here. Hmm. Finishing me. Ragnar Adoni. Present teacher. Alexa Marcela. Hi. Hi, hi, Miguel. Alexa Marcela here. Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. I'm here. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Nice. Andre. Present teacher. How do you say Andre, Andre? Andre teacher. Andre. Angie? Angie. Where are you, Angie? I don't see you. Present. 
eh, Arely Isabel. Arely. Arely. Arely, no here. Erling Milkisedek. Erling. Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Carla Milena. Carla. María Epifanía. María. María María. Marta Marisol. Mauricio Antonio. Ángel Teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nancy Katia. I'm here, teacher. It's Nancy. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Julia Evelyn. Silvia Evelyn. Ursula Esteli. Ursula. William Giovanni. Okay. I'm going to call the ones that didn't say present just in case somebody uh, join later. Alexa. Arely. Erling. Carla Milena. María, Silvia Evelyn, Úrsula y William. No. Well, nice, nice. We let me see one more. Okay, my. But yeah, remember that even when you are walking, uh, let me know that you're here, right? So I can add your attendance. Nice. Okay, we are complete. We're 14 at the moment, right? Good, good. Ready for another day. Ready, ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. We're going to make a, a, a mini review of what we were studying yesterday. Remember yesterday, we were talking about the press. We were talking about having has to or obligation. So what do you have to do at work? What does your colleague have to do? So we're talking about obligations, have using have and use using have to and has to, right? Check today. We are going to talk about possibility. We are going to use can for information and possibility. Check. In the objective, participants will be able to ask some questions using can for asking for information, as well as for possibility. Correct, right? That has to be correctly in an activity in the movie. So we're going to use can for asking for information and possibility. Okay, that. Before we enter to the new topic, let's see if 
if we can complete this exercise, remember use the correct word, right? That can be have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Okay, go ahead. Use the correct one. Mm -hmm. Actor has to. Have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Okay. Let me know when you finish. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Let me know when you finish. Did you finish?
Let me know when you finish. Finish, finish. Yes. Finish, finish. Finish. Can we check it? No, Can we check it? Yes, yes, no yet. Hi. Hello. Finish. What do you have in number one, Miguel Angel? Uh, number one is they doesn't greet a test. Correct or incorrect? Check the structure that I'm asking you to use. Uh, Up to has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Does, doesn't. They doesn't? Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. Can you say they doesn't? Yes. No, says Nancy. No. Anas? What no. Number one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they have to write a test, or they don't have to write a test. Uh -huh. If it is negative, it will be they don't have to. Right? Don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to write there.
Okay, so you can say they have to or, or they don't have to. Remember that we use doesn't only with he, she, it, right? They have to, or they don't. Okay, they have to or or they don't have to. And what about number two? She. Remember, in all of them, we have two possibilities, right? So we make it affirmative or we make it negative. What would be number two? Mm -hmm. She has. Her desk. She has read the complete sentence. Number number two is has to oh she has to or she or she has to or she has no uh, don't uh, doesn't, doesn't have. Exactly. Two. So she has to or she doesn't have, right? She has right. to clean the, her desk or she doesn't have to clean. Probably uh, somebody else cleans the desk for her. What about number three? Can and Liz? Have to. Have to or? Or don't have to. Mm -hmm. They have to or they don't have to. Lo voy a hacer así a lo lazy. <laughs> a lo lazy. Okay. They have to or they don't have to learn English words. Andy. Andy. Have to. Have to or has to? Have to. Remember the third person singular? Has. Has, has right with he she it we are going to use has to okay andy has to help his brother or oh, andy doesn't have to help his brother okay we have to have to we have to do our homework in that case, there is no negative, right? We have to, we have to do our homework. Okay. Number six. Has to. Has to. He has to. He has to. He has to. He doesn't does. write a pencil. Okay, number seven. I. I have. I have to. I have to feed the hamster. Oh, it's not my obligation. I don't have to feed the hamster. Okay. And um, what about number eight? You. Have to. You have to take photos or you don't have to. Or you don't have to take photos. It's not obligation for you to take photos, right? Victoria. 
has to. Has to. Has to, sí. Victoria has to read the newspaper or Victoria doesn't have to, right? Doesn't have to read the newspaper. It's not necessary. Do you have to read the newspaper? Is it an obligation for you to read the newspaper? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Do you have to read the newspaper? Hello? Do you have to read the newspaper? Mm? You don't have to, right? You don't have to. No. No, you don't have to. Okay. The, uh, the teacher has to send a text message or the teacher doesn't have to send a text message. The teacher is he or she, right? Can be he or can be she. So that's why with the teacher, we are going to use has or doesn't have to. Any question? Question. Questions? No, no question. Nice. Just uh, just reminding a couple of things. Check. We use have to with I. I have to or I don't have to, right? I have to work from Monday to Friday. I don't have to work on Sunday. Do you have to work on Sunday? Hmm? Do you have to work on Sunday? No. No, no you don't have to work. Don't have to work. Remember when we say uh, we don't have to means there is no obligation for me to work on Sunday. Yes, Ursula, you can use both. Okay, Maureen. So By check. Uh, I have to work from Monday to Friday, or I don't have to work from Monday to Friday. It depends, right? It depends on the on the situation. Remember that have to means obligation. I don't have to or doesn't have to mean that there is no obligation, right? Maria has to work from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. Maria has to work from Monday to Saturday. Yes, has to, Maria, she, right? Maria has to work from Monday to, to Saturday, but she doesn't have to work at night. She works only during the day, at night noon. She doesn't have to work during the night. A uh, ver, look at the questions. Check the questions. Do you have to complete the platform? Hmm? What can you tell me about the platform? Do you have to? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right? Yes, I do. So check the answer. You say, yes, I do. You don't say, yes, I have to. ¿verdad? We don't say, yes, I have to. No, porque no estamos usando present perfect. Estamos usando el auxiliary do in the question. Do you have to complete the platform? Do you have to complete the platform? Yes, I do. Does yes, your do. boss have to work on the weekend? Does your boss, does yes. your boss have to work on the weekend? Yes, he yes. does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Very good. Any question here? Any question? Any question? No. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to learn some vocabulary today. So check. Here, today, we are going to be using a... Um, 
can, for possibility, we said, remember, we said we're going to use can for possibility and can for asking for information. But when we talk here about this word check, Okay. When we say this word, this is not can, this is can, can, right? This is a can, a can of soda, a can of juice, a can of beer, a can of whatever, right? So we use a can, checking that this is can, but don't tell me can when we're talking about the modal possibility. Right now, can is a container, right? We're talking about container. So we have cans, repeat cans. Cans. And boxes. 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 Bottles. 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 Jars. 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 A jar Jars. is like um the one you use when you buy marginalize or when you buy the instant coffee, right? You buy you buy instant coffee that comes in a jar. You can also okay. buy marmalade in a jar, right? Marmalade. Marginalized, mustard. They come in a jar. El jar is un botecito, right? Un bote, no botella. Botella is bottle, like this. You can buy a bottle of wine, a bottle of milk, a bottle of water. I have here my bottle of water, right? That's bottle. And when we talk about cans, remember we said a soda, a can of soda, a can of juice, a can of beer. And there are some other types of cans that are little, that in some moment you can, they can be called tin, a tin like a tuna, right? So you can say a can of tuna. In British English, they will say a tin, tin. They make a difference with the little one, right? A can of tuna or a tin of tuna. And the box is a can of can of beer? A can of beer? Yes, can of beer. What can you get in boxes? Box of chocolate? What else can you get in a box? Mm -hmm. A box of chocolate. A box of cereal, huh? of what did you say? Coffee. A box of coffee. That would be more a bag. A bag or a package. A box is like mostly chocolate comes in boxes, probably cereal. Some types of cereal come in boxes, a box of matches, matches, no phosphorus, right? A box of matches. And well, we said already jars, what you can buy in a jar. Check. So those are containers. Some of the most common ones that we can use. Of course, there are many more. Uh, you can say a tube if you're talking about toothpaste, a tube of toothpaste. Right. And what else? A package. You can have a package of, of cigarettes, a package of cereal, probably, right? Or a bag, a bag of cereal, a bag of sugar, a bag of coffee, right? A bag of water. Those are containers. Now, check. Today, as we're talking about where we can stack something. A stack means where can I keep, right? Where can I keep, where can I put the things? And we're talking about things that we can stack. 
So when you are in a in a in a big company, right, that has different products, there are things that you can keep in the warehouse. You know what is a warehouse, right? Yes. What's a warehouse? Bodega. Bodega, exactly. Thank you, Maria. So what are those things that I can keep in the warehouse? Balloons, chocolate, cards, wine, teddy bears, stuffed animals, los peluches, right? That not necessarily will be teddy. Um, you can stack creams, cushions, candy, perfumes, different fancy things, books, other things that you can stack so you can keep in the warehouse, right? So you can stack them probably in a pile. Remember yesterday we said we can pile things. What is pile? Do you remember? What's a pile? Do you remember what is pile? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Amontonar. Apilar. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Apilar. What is a. What is apilar? Una cosa sobre otra. Exactly. Usually boxes, right? Things in boxes, we can stack them. Or we can pile them. Mm -hmm. I check it. What is a stack? An orderly pile, that's a stack. When you keep the things in the warehouse, but in an order, right? Not just to go through the boxes there. No, you go, you pile, you pile the boxes, but in order, right? That is a stack. Um, I'm sorry. That is, it says, a structure of bookshelves for compact storage books. That's a way of stacking, right? A section of a building housing social structures that's a pile of poker chips. So you can stack information also in the computer. Remember that's to keep information. Right? Any question here so far? No? But I pay attention to these two questions. Where can I stack the boxes? Where? Where can I stack the boxes? Where? Where can I stack the boxes? In the warehouse. We can stack the boxes in the warehouse. Very good. We can stack the boxes in the warehouse. What is a stack? A pilar. That's pile. Um, yes, that is to keep the things yeah. in the warehouse, but in an order, right? In an order, because you can come and pile things and look crazy, right? But when you pack something, when you stack something, you make very neat piles, everything in order, right? Like when you go to, to uh, you see a, a big store, right? Where they have kept lots of things and they don't want things to get damaged. And of course, they want to take advantage of the warehouse, right? Because if something is in order, it's easier to get to, to find things. And also you can keep more things there, right? Now, check this information that you're going to be discussing here. We have different things, and you will tell me, can we stack these things? We have some products like tablets, television, 
refrigerator. And we have the weight, the dimension, and the quantity of each of them. Tell me, can we stack the tablets in the warehouse? Yes or no? How can we stack the tablets in the warehouse? Can we pile them? Can we pile the tablets? Imagine this is one tablet, this is another one. Can I pile them? See, I don't have anything else to put here. Can I pile them like this? Uh-huh. Yes or no? Can I pile the tablets like this? Yes or no? I think no. Yes. Oh, yes. You say yes. Like how many? How many? How many tablets can I stack? Oh, can I pile like that? Hmm? Ten. Ten, fifteen, twenty, five. How many? How many tablets can I pile? I cannot pile too much because uh, this material is is uh, like fragile. It's fragile and it's yeah. delicate. Yes, they can damage. Okay, so you will yes. not pile them. What about the television? Can it's the pile? same. No, but. And sometimes can pile because, but it's like a two or three pile because it's the same for the towel. It is, it is practically can damage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we pile the refrigerators? No. <laughs> no, we cannot, right? Impossible to pile. So that means that for keeping those things, so for stacking those things, we need more space. Yeah? We need more space. Now, you're going to discuss a couple of questions, paying attention to this information that you have here, right? Let's see here. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? That means money. Can you store all the televisions alone? We're talking about how many televisions? 50. We have 50 televisions. Can Maria stack all the digo, televisions? The television? Oh, yeah. No, we have 100 televisions. Can Maria stack all the 100 televisions alone? Or will she need help? What do you think? Can one person store? A store in this case is the verb keep, right? It's with the meaning of keep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a verb here, right? That's the verb keep, store. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? No. No. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Impossible. That's impossible. Okay, so you tell me no. He or she can't, right? No, he or she can't. <coughs> Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? In the warehouse. Mm -hmm. In the warehouse. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Can you store the tablets on shelves? What are shelves?
Yes, Ursula Chin is here, definitely. Um, can you store the tablets one uh, on, on shelves? What's a shelf? Estantes. Hmm? Uh, Aha, uh -huh. or repisas, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Uh, in some case, we can put in order, like, if the is if the shelves is big, we can put in order. But it should be a shelf only for the tablets, right? No, yes. else. only the tablet. Only the tablets. Very good. Any questions up to here? No. Yes. Question. Questions. Questions, questions. Tell me if you think I'm too fast. Questions? No questions. No, teacher. Too fast. Okay. But no. Let's see. What happens in the video? Okay. Let me see. <laughs> ah, okay, by check. We said that today we are asking for information, right? Using can. Aquí sí es can. When talking about containers, was can. But when talking about the model that we're using today, is can. Can for information. Where can you stack all the new products? Where can he stack all the new products? Where can we stack all the new products? And where can they stack all the new products? Okay. Remember asking for information. Where can I find the tablets? Where can I put the refrigerators? Hmm? Where can I leave uh, this box? So I'm asking for information. And check something. When we use uh, this case, this is a model, right? The model of possibility. We're going to talk about can like a K. He, in this case, it's a model of possibility, but can can be used not only for possibility, right? Can is a model that can be used for ability. For example, when you tell me, you know what, teacher, I can dance very well. I can sing beautifully. That's ability, right? Can I go to the bathroom? Permission. But right now, we're not talking about permission. We're not talking about ability. We're talking about possibility. And we're talking about asking for information. OK? Now, any questions about can in this context? Where can I buy milk? Where can I get? Um, some water, right? Information. Now, I can also use this model, can, when talking about possibility. Can you stack all the new products? Can he stack all the new products alone? Probably yes, probably no. Can she stack all the new products? Can we stack? All the new products. Yes, we can stack all the new products. Possibility. Yes. Check something important. Uh, when we are using the model can, we use the verb in the base form. It doesn't matter if I'm using you, I, he, she, we, they, it, whatever I'm using. I'm going to use the verb in the base form. No es for he or she here. Remember when we say have to, 
I have to, you have to, we have to, right? But she has to and he has to. In this case, no. With the with can, the 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 good thing is that it has no change. So it doesn't change even when you're using he or she. Right? Can you hmm, can you get to work late? Mm -hmm. Can you work late? No. Yes. Yes, you can. That's very possible, right? Um, can you, let's see. Can you arrive 10 minutes after the time? Is that possible? Yes. 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 Can you go to the doctor if you're sick? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you have lunch in the office? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's possible. Can you eat while working? No. No, you can't. It's not possible to eat while working. Can you drink water on your desk? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. So it is possible. Yes? Okay. Can I visit you in your work? No. No, not possible. No, you can't. Right. Can you receive visits from your family? No. No, no it's not possible, right? It's not possible. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about this topic? No? No. Can you complete the next exercise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, look at the sentences. Uh, what you're going to do here is write questions, right? Read the following statements and write questions about them, yeah? So you can store them in the back room. Think about the items that we have been talking about, tablets, computers, okay, televisions, okay, refrigerators, and write the questions here okay i'm going to send you to the rooms right now for you to work together and make questions i guess there will be one group huh. so oh 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 Uy, cuánta gente tengo de oyentes hoy, espérenme. Bueno, I hope Abner, Abner, hello. Abner, are you with us? No here, uh, Abner. Abner, hello. André. Present teacher. Estamos vivos y despiertos. Yes. Yes. Abner no, ¿verdad? Uy, ese grupo me quedó por oyente. Bueno, let's go. Let's go to the room. Eh, remember, you are going to complete the exercise. In your manual, you can go to page. Mm. Fíjense que ya iba hecho, pero ustedes, no. Aquí les voy a pegar la foto. In the chat, I'm going to paste the photo in the chat. So you do it and later on we will check it, right? I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it in the chat. Write the question and then be ready. Check. 
Vaya, look at the look at the, the exercise I pasted in the chat, right? In the chat of WhatsApp. Okay. Vamos. Let's get to work. Go, 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 join. Try to join. Remember, see the exercise in the WhatsApp, in the group of WhatsApp. Try to join. Read the following statement. statement. To write a question, question about it. Afirmaciones para escribir una pregunta al respecto. Una pregunta vamos a escribir ahí. Creo que sí. Dice read the following statement to write a question about about it. You can store them in the back room. Puedes almacenar en, uh, en, uh, como en el tienda o algo así o en el cuadro trasero como en la tienda algo así es eso que eh, store remember that I told you that store means keep to keep no es tienda, este es un verbo. Es como, ah. es como cuando usted ocupa water como verbo, que water ah. es regar las plantas, no es agua. O cuando Ajá. ocupa milk como verbo, que es ordeñar. O book como verbo, que es make a reservation. Entonces, igual acá, estamos usando store eh, como verbo, que significa eh, guardar. Ah, ok. Puedes almacenar. Exacto. Guardar, ok. Ya. Yeah. Uh, can you... The question... 
Puede ser que en you... Stack. Stack the. ¿Qué? Can you stack the. Ah, the tablets. In. In the warehouse. Something like that. Can you stack. Stack. Uh -huh. And you start como guardar o almacenar las tablets en la warehouse. You start in June. And you start. <laughs> Está can, can you stack all the the tablets in the warehouse? Can you can you stack? Can you? Is the first Can you? You can store them in the background. Can you stack the tablet? The tablet. <laughs> In the warehouse, I was sick. In the warehouse. Stuck, stuck. I, I, I. Can I, can I stop the. Y la otra, podría ser eso, podríamos usar esa. El número dos, dice, yes, she can, she can sing the form. Can I, can she sing? Did you understand the, the number one? Mauricio. What? The number one? Mm -hmm. I write, can you stack the tablets in the warehouse? Number one. Uh-huh, algo así entiendo. Hi, remember that the page that you're working is pasted in the chat, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. You can share. You can share screen. Ya tenemos cara de sueño, teacher. <risa> no, la pantalla. Teacher, yo estoy desde el celular, así que no puedo compartir. ¿Alguien puede compartir pantalla? Eh, voy a salir mi computadora y. Pregunta es: ¿Can you store? No. Sí. 
How yes, can okay. Ya se fue. Eh, esas veo que ya están resueltas en la guía, no sé si. No, por eso se bien. las pegué en el chat porque ajá. Ajá. Le voy a volver a subir el manual. Lo voy a revisar mañana y le voy a volver a subir por rato. <ríe> ah. Por eso se la pegué en el chat para que lo hagan del chat y después lo revisen. But anyway, those are ideas, right? So you can use your own ideas to make your questions. You can change them. You can go discussing what you're writing there. Only Arely, eh, yeah. no, bien, Sanji. Ya les traigo a un super. Teacher, we finish. You finished? Yes. Okay. No questions? No? No. Oh. Okay. Vamos, pues. There was a group that was finishing. So, but anyway, you will have like one minute to go back, I guess, in that minute. Day. Finish. <clears throat> <clears throat> 